had enough today, what we presented. This is with the permission of the Chinese research team. This is the part of, you don't see most of it. This is part of the Chinese space reactor. One of the most complicated, sophisticated system developed. We control every space of this system. Uh, a, a lot of you don't understand, there are other matters, things happening around the system. It's a, uh, one of the most advanced systems. It considers every aspects from production of material, water, and everything else which can be assessed, lift, direction of lift, direction of flow. And uh, it's an amazing setup. I've been given permission by the Chinese to go. Operating in this system. There are two steps of this method. And if you look at the direction of the rotation of the system, at one point changes and falls back again with the field forces. Can you increase the noise? and it goes back on again. It's um, the, this these systems are set up as a twin system. One is loaded to be behaving as an electron and one is loaded to behave as a proton as you call it. And the loading is very special. At the end of the test I showed you, if you remember a few weeks ago, these cores you see full of um, uh, orange-red material have totally empty to clear. We have consumed all the energy within the system. The bottom, what you see on the ground, is a launch pad. We have never taught a launch pad system, and in what you saw with the uh, uh, paper and the hand lifting, this is the purpose of the same system. With this uh, base, we isolate the system from the ground, from the Earth magnetic gravitational field forces, as you have a launch pad in, let's say, NASA, that you boost the locket, here we neutralize and feed fields directly into the center cores. And then, as you see above, there are other systems internally in this reactor, in this space system that um, allows other actions. Uh, system control direction, production. Don't forget, this is a prototype system. And um, this is the initial version. Um, now the system has been opened up, doesn't have any more motors, should not have any motors. With what we understand and be developed, it should be very easy to operate. Mm, other systems has been added to, to understand more operation of the plasma. And in so many ways, uh, um, the uh, what you see as a rotation, which is created here with motors, uh, it'll happen to, uh, automatically through plasma positioning of the, uh, of the, what we call, the side uh, reactors. The belt reactor you see so many, is some 36 of them in one belt, and there's more inside of this for different operations. There are a number of belts uh, and setting in this system. That is for 
pulling the fields from the top reactor down to the middle. At the same time, giving the boundary condition to the system. This is the reactor which emptied itself at one o'clock in the morning and uh, emptied the whole thing to the central power station of the city, uh, causing a blackout anymore, uh, it's much easier to run. Uh, as I said, uh, um, they are specifically loaded, every reactor, every core, these are multiple core, most of them. Most of these reactors are multiple cores, uh, in the in the main body of the reactor, some of them as many as three or four reactors, five reactor cores, and it's set up to do what it did. And we learned a lot from it. It was important for the Chinese space program. Uh, um, Mr. Kashmi, uh, we need to pause for a, a thirty second reset here, if, if possible. Uh, can, it's can too late. That? Too late. Okay. Too late. Never. Never mind. <laughs> I am a minute or a couple minutes off, perhaps. Um, okay, carry on, sorry. So, uh, what we see is very much uh, uh, what is to be in, 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 when we go back into the space limit, we have to create neutral ground. Um, like, very much like airports, people can walk into and enter. Uh, there is a lot of development. Um, this system is already obsolete, that's why we are showing it. Because uh, we learned, we developed when we moved. And from where you're standing on this side, if you, you can't see the plastic plates on the floor, where, where we're standing, we, cr we, we create a lot of water, rain. And so, we, we could create condition of liquid that the system rains down. These are important for agriculture and other application. And uh, it's, it's important for us to learn these things. And uh, this is the thanks to one man in China who has done all this work and is still at it to see it through. And we should be able to achieve uh, another further developments in the whole structure of the space technology in China. Uh, it's a very elaborate system. It's not as it looks very simple, but it's extremely powerful. And it can deliver megawatts of energy.